Okay, let's get your staff in a Toast payroll. Doing so ensures that you are prepared for a streamlined payroll processing experience. This video will cover how to add a new team member to Toast payroll and lay out the steps required of your employee to finalize their own payroll profile and receive a payment. Before we dive in, here's an important call out. Always add employees to Toast payroll first. New hires in payroll will automatically have point of sale profiles created for them. So adding them in Toast web and then Toast payroll would create a duplicate record and complicate future payrolls and potentially create login issues. All right, let's do this. To start, log into Toast Payroll and select Team from your left-hand navigation rail. If you need assistance logging in, please consider reviewing our Logging In Help article in Toast Central. To proceed, select Add Team Member. Here, you'll be prompted to fill in essential employee information, like their first name, their last name, their email address, and more. Please note that the email address field is not required However, we strongly recommend it as employees hired without an email address cannot log in and they won't be able to complete their Form I-9 or Form W-4, view their pay stubs, or access potential Form W-2 or Form 1095-C around year end. It should also be noted that it is critical to ensure that social security number requirements are filled out. If your employees are hired without a social security number, this may result in inaccurate tax filings and tax notices resulting in penalties or fees for your business, and we don't want that. New hires set as contractor 1099 will not see the social security number field. Once this information is filled in, select continue. This will take you to the jobs and pay step. This step includes questions about the employee's job roles and wage rates. First, select the pay type being either hourly or salary. Depending on your selection here, the fields below will vary slightly. From here, scroll down to fill in important jobs and pay information, such as the employee's working location, their job, their hourly or salary pay, their pay group, work tax location, and whether or not they are eligible to receive overtime pay. If this employee works more than one job for your business, you can select the Add Job button to add additional jobs for the employee to clock into. Adding an additional job will require that you repeat the essential jobs and pay steps above. Next, you can customize this employee's point of sale access code if you'd like. The point of sale access code field will default to the employee ID number, which was a field in the previous step, but it can be changed to any number not already assigned. If you remove the point of sale access code, the employee cannot clock in or access a Toast point of sale device. Continue on to the EE01 classification dropdown. Please note that the EE01 classification will only be available if you have the new hire setting for this selection set to yes. Choose the EE01 classification that best fits your new employee. Then scroll down to assign a payroll security role for your new employee. You can select either HR plus, manager, or employee. Users with the HR Plus security roles have access to everything and can edit and run payrolls. Users with the manager security role can review employee-related reports, add or edit employees, and approve timesheets. Users with the employee security role can review and edit their own personal profile. Once jobs and pay information is completely filled out, select the blue continue button. This will take you to the next step, which is selecting benefits information for this employee. Now, if you use Toast Payroll Pro and manage employee benefit coverage with Simply Insured, this step might look slightly different. But in either case, this step will prompt you to make a benefit plan and time away from work selection here. Make these selections that best fit your new employee before proceeding by selecting the blue continue button. Okay. The following step will be to select the documents this employee will need to review during their portion of onboarding. That is, if you have items new employees are required to read or acknowledge prior to starting their first shift and have those uploaded to Toast Payroll for distribution in the step. You can also add one-off PDF documents specific to a single employee by selecting the Upload Files button or drag and drop those files into the box. It should be noted that if an email address was not entered in the basic info step, 
employees won't be able to log in and see these documents or complete their own portion of onboarding since no communication will be able to reach them. To finish this step, select the blue continue button. Now on the last step, please complete a final review of the information you entered across the previous steps for accuracy. Use a section's edit pencil to make any adjustment if needed. At the bottom of the page, you can also preview the steps that an employee completes for their portion of onboarding. If everything looks good, select Add to Team to complete your portion of the new hire process. From here, assuming you entered an email address for this employee, Post will automatically send an email to them with instructions on their portion of the new hire process, beginning with creating a password and completing additional items, such as filling out their I-9, completing required tax forms, adding their direct deposit account information, and reviewing any documents required of them to get started at your business. Now, if an email address was not entered, a pop-up will indicate that this must be done in order for your employee to create a password or complete their portion of onboarding. Now, sometimes employees cannot find these automated emails from Toast, or they need to be resent. This can easily be done by selecting an employee from your Teams page. Then, navigate to their profile and select User Account. Here, take note of the yellow notification bar. This indicates the employee has not yet logged into Toast Payroll, so you may proceed. Select the Resend button. This will generate a new welcome email. All right, that just about wraps up the essential information for adding your new employees to Toast Payroll, and thus to your point of sale as well. Quick tip before I leave you though, always add employees to Toast Payroll first.